Okay, pen pals, it's festival season. I mean, can we even really call it that? I mean, at this point, there are festivals all throughout the year, but just go with it. And you're going to be attending these festivals and you're going to be networking. So let me go ahead and give you some tips. Shannon E. Johnson, CEO of The Professional Pen, where we develop screenwriters from idea to pitch. Need help on your screenplay? Go to www.theprofessionalpen.com. All right, tip number one, be yourself. That sounds easy, right? <laughs> but it takes confidence to be yourself. It really takes knowing who you are. It really takes being comfortable in your own skin to be yourself. Now, some of us, I'm going to include myself in it. Some of us are weirdos. You know what I'm saying? I'm not necessarily an introvert, but I'm definitely an introverted extrovert, which means a lot of the times I just don't want to be around any kind of people. So it's really tough for me to go into a networking situation and just walk up to people and talk to them because I feel like I'm using them and that doesn't make me feel good. Right. So <laughs> I say that to say you have to figure out what works best for you in this kind of space. You're there. You spent your money to be there. You need to be able to talk to people. So be yourself, show your personality, because what we do know is people are going to remember that more than they remember your project, okay? Every single person who is there is there because they have a project, okay? You're not unique in that way. <laughs> Everybody already knows this, which means you don't have to start your conversation with, hey, I got this project. Hey, I'm working on this thing. Duh, they know that. Your job is to get to know people as people. What are their likes? What are their dislikes? What are the things that you guys have in common? What do you like to watch? Those are the kind of conversations that will get a relationship built. And at some point during that conversation, it will come up. So what brings you here? What are you working on? What part of the industry are you in? And then that's your opportunity to start talking about the obvious. Number two, don't be thirsty. Don't be thirsty. You're gonna have to be able to read social cues, right? People who are actually in the industry are there for work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you see them chilling at the bar, that's what they want to be doing. That doesn't mean you can't have a conversation with them. You know what I'm saying? But what it does mean is just read the social cues. They might not be in a space where they're ready to listen to things and receive things. So just pay attention to that and just move around. Don't be thirsty. It's okay for you to have a strategy. It's okay for you to have a plan. It's okay for you to decide, I'm going to talk to X amount of people that each day. Totally fine. But there's a difference between that and obsession. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you don't want to weird out people because this is a relationship business far more than it is a creative business. Number three, don't print, don't print your screenplay and pass it out to anybody. No one. Do you hear me? A, global warming is crazy, so let's care about the earth. You don't need to be printing out millions and millions and millions of copies of paper, period, right? But secondly, nobody, what are they going to do? Carry it around with them for the rest of the festival? You're going to be mad when you find your screenplay sitting on a couch in a random hallway, right? Don't even print it out. There used to be a time where I would tell people to print out one sheets and pass those out instead. Two things. People don't want paper at all. They just don't. So you will probably see your one sheet on the ground somewhere as well, including your business card. <laughs> You'll probably see that also on the ground. They get there, they might collect a whole bunch of those things and then someplace it just kind of ends up on their desk and they don't really even look at it, mostly because it's paper. And I would say that's that has a lot more to do with it being 2024 than anything else. So what are the other options? You can spend a whole lot of money and get a whole bunch of um, USBs right? But that would be you spending money. Or you can create QR codes. Everyone loves a QR code. I would not have a QR code for my script at this point, right? At this point, you want to be exchanging contact information, maybe a one sheet, right? So do a QR code for just contact information, do a separate QR code for contact information and the ability to download your, your one sheet, because you want them to request your script, right? So even though you're meeting these people in person, you still don't want to send unsolicited items to them. And if they're thinking, I'm just downloading your email address or your phone number, and all of a sudden they've downloaded your script, now you've put them in legal at a legal risk, right? And nobody wants that. A lot of the places, especially if they are um, you know, uberly professional and have been doing this for X amount of years, they're going to want you to fill out a form 
a release form or something, you know, before they read your script anyway, right? So you being at these festivals is more so about relationships than passing out things, right? This might not, it may be the place, especially if you have something in the festival, it may be the place where deals are going to get made, but a lot of that stuff is also kind of set up for you as someone in the festival to be meeting people. It doesn't mean that those are the only people who can give you deals, so you should be talking to everybody else as well, but just hear that you might not make the deal at the festival. It's about meeting the people and then following up with them. Four, don't just give your contact information, get theirs, right? You can ask, they might say no. They might just offer, right? But get theirs because if you have theirs, and I had to learn this myself and I'm still bad at it, I have to remind myself. If you get theirs, then you're in control of the next conversation. If they get yours, then they're in control of the next conversation. I don't know what number what number I'm on. Five? <laughs> you don't have to pay to go to the festival if you don't have it in your, in your budget, right? You should be strategizing. You should be strategizing about which festivals are best for you. The only way you can do that is if you understand your goals and you understand the kind of people that you are interested in meeting. If those people don't go to that festival, why are you there? <laughs> right? So once you strategize and realize these are the ones that I need to attend, you also have to look at your budget. Can, which ones can you actually afford to go to? What do you get out of paying to go? Now, look, I'm not hating on anybody's festival or anybody's anything because that's their business and that's how they make their coin. But you have to look at it from the point of view of what does this badge get me? Does it get me more access to what I need or am I just going to be able to go to a couple of workshops and still not really meet any people? You know what I'm saying? Am I going to get to you know, screen a few films, but still not meet any people. So if for some reason it's not in your budget, find the host hotel. Find the host hotel, find the bars that are around and just be, because they're going to be everywhere. Everybody has to eat. Okay. Everybody, you know, not everybody drinks, but everybody kind of hangs around the bar at the, at the host hotel or at the, you know, whatever restaurants are nearby. So just go out there, strategize about when you're going to be out there so that you can meet people. Okay. Those are the tips that I can think of right now. If you have more in-depth questions, drop them in the comments and I should be able to do a video response. I know TikTok does that, but um, Instagram tries to do it every now and again too. Until then, happy writing and happy attending the film festivals. Good luck to you. The professional pen. The, the, the...